What kind of sorcery is this? Oh, that's the next mission. Alrighty, guys, we're back with Slot 2 Band of Thieves, and let's start the next mission. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. I'll be like a little monkey. You're a monkey, Derek. Dance, monkey. So, it's not Cy Cooper without some photo taking missions. Yeah, what Bentley said, because there's obese unicorns out there. Let's go see. Ooh, chicken wings. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. Mmm, wings. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. An electronic witch. That could be useful. That little thing is holding those wings? Oh, you troll. Come on, Rajon. That's him. Rajon's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. The guests, eh? Let's see. Jumpy son! A member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. I love this Texas Roadhouse, and I'm gonna you're gonna see him later, but you'll love him. He is my favorite baby back ribs. Oh no. That's the Contessa, a high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajon's spice ring. This eight-legged sp spider skank you'll see later. You'll hate her. She should be going out getting Bullwinkle, for God's sakes. Arpeggio. Uh, another Claw Gang member. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. I'm not gonna go into detail about him. But just follow his nose and you will get the tricks. I mean the Fruit Loops. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa. To help bust Rajon. And yeah, the Contessa is kind of like the boss, so just to let you know. Leela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. <laughs> That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. Buzzing. I decided to have a new catchphrase instead of another night another day. Bazinga sounds more friendly. Zazzy. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, Sooner or later, we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Time to crash this castle. So let's start out with Sly again. Let's go lower that drawbridge. Whoop. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do all the slime missions first. Like, I like to save Murray for last because he's my favorite character. I just love his transition from slide one to slide two. I mean, come on, you had to admit Murray was somewhat of a wussy in Sly in the Thievius Raccoonus, but he has gone. He's got more confidence in stuff. I love it. Is this the drawbridge one? Obviously, it should be. Sly, Murray 
and I can't get inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown witch. Alrighty, so Wheeze is collecting the keys. Alright, let's just be careful. Who saw me? No! You rhino troll. Oh god. Huh. That's not cool. Alright. Let's go jump on top of this elephant. How many coins does that guy have? He's like a Steve Jobs or something. All right, this guy's simple enough. Next guy over there. All right, telephone, I don't want to answer you unless Billy Mays comes back from the dead. Billy Mays with Mighty Putty. You could ring the gong, but if you put in a cheat code, you can get a gadget that'll lure him too. You know what? Maybe in the next episode, I'll introduce that gadget. Cartoon Network fans, you'll be pleased. I know I have. And this promotion is in Sly 3 too. Like, you'll see something related to this in Sly 3. Well, the gadget. But it's hilarious. It's a nice tribute to Cartoon Network fans. Alright, alright, ah, poo! From the Quickie Mart. The super squishy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought that was the key guy. Well, he still has something good in his pockets. Just let me reach those buns of yours, big boy. Mmm, golden pen. <laughs> That's just wrong. Ah. Turn around, unicorn. Oh! Come on. And then we'll call it a day, guys. Yeah, this episode may be quick, but... I don't know, like... How would you like these episodes to be? Like, I mean, long episodes cover a lot of material, but... Would you really want to sit there for, like, 20 to 30 minutes? Hell knows I wouldn't. I mean, short episodes are just short and sweet, I mean... I don't know, it's whatever. Okay. Who saw me? Well, you know what? Who cares? Just run.
Run, Forrest, run! My mama said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I wanna be like Lieutenant Dan and die in every single American war. Jenny, they're taking me to Vietnam. Oh, good God. I'm a shrimp boat captain. I own a boat. Now and I, can I call her the Jenny. Bazinga! And we'll call it a day, guys. So, I'm Voltage Man 65, and I'll see you in the next episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Woo!